Hello bright beautiful world and welcome back to my channel. Today I have another writing advice or writing help video for you. So today we'll be talking about world building and what it means to build a world and what it means to have rules to follow them and all of that kind of stuff. So let's get started. If you've watched any of my past videos, you already know that I've mentioned world building and what it means to follow rules and the rules that the author has made for this world and what it means to follow those rules. Um, in terms of past books that I've done reviews for, um, I'm kind of talking about in my own world building for my own novels. Um, so that's something that we're going to be talking about today, what it means to build a world, what it means to make the rules, and what it means to follow those rules. So the first thing that we're going to talk about is what is world building? World building is basically where you build a world. <laughs> so you have your novel or you have your story and basically you want to build a world around whatever your story is um, pertaining to the characters, pertaining to plot, and pertaining to what it means to live in this world. Does the world have something to do with the plot? Does the world have something to do with the reason why the plot is happening? Is it a reason why your character is the way that they are? Or is it a way that these characters are acting a certain way? So if you've seen my video for the um, any of Sarah J. Mass's books, any of the reviews that I've done for any of her books, I always talk about the world building and what it means to have those worlds. So for the Court of, a Court of Thorns and Roses, there is a fey world that is separated between a wall. So there's the fey and then there's the mortal realm, and they're both split just by this one wall. And so part of this reason why I'm mentioning this is because she built a world in which the Fey rule over the mortals. And it seems as if this world is not any time during the modern age. It has something to do with, you know, past times, probably within the Renaissance era. Um, definitely not any time in the modern world. So there's no technology, there's no guns, there's no, um, like anything related to the modern times, it's not there. It's usually kind of old school. So any knives, swords, daggers, um, bows and arrows. So things like that are very important to notify when you're reading and also when you're writing your own novels. So anything that pertains to building this world around your plot, around your characters, in general, just having a world that these characters can be in is very important. So the reason why we use, that's the next question, well, the reason why we use world building so further along the aspect of being put into this you know story into this place into this world that readers can kind of get lost in and kind of just be a part of so one of the main things that you need in terms of world building is rules so we're going to go into the rules now and some of the rules that pertain to this usually go along with fantasy or anything that doesn't kind of exist in the real world if you have a real world setting usually you know what rules to follow there's no magic there's no um, usually there's the laws of the police that you have to follow. There's already rules established in the real world, but in terms of creating your own world, you have to have rules and technically follow those rules if you're going to have them, which you do need them. Um, so in terms of making those rules, it has to do with, with whatever world you're putting these characters and the story in. So in terms of A Court of Thorns and Roses, or even in The Cruel Prince, there are different worlds in, with, in which these people live in. So in a in the Cruel Prince, there's a mortal realm, and then there's the Fey world. And in the Fey world, there are separate rules that the humans have to follow so that they don't fall under the trap of whatever the Fey have in terms. So you have to put salt on everything you eat in the Fey world, because if you don't, then you can fall under a hallucinogen, where you become sort of like a slave or mind captivated by whatever you've just eaten, and then the Fey can take advantage of you. So that's a rule within this world that is established by Holly Black early on that these girls have to put salt on their food in order to eat or else they're in risk of danger. One of the other rules that she kind of establishes is that you shouldn't dance alone because if you dance alone, then there's no one there who can pull you out from the trance of all the Fey magic that's happening. Um, and so usually the girls have someone or a group of people that they know that they have will have with them if they ever choose to dance because they need that person to pull them out if necessary. So these are just examples of rules that are within Holly Black's um, The Cruel Prince. Um, some of the rules that are contained in A Court of Thorns and Roses is the fact of the um, courts which belong in the world. So each court has its own set of rules and laws and what it means to be a part of that court and what it means to kind of just be in that world. So definitely have those rules. And what I mean by follow them is that if you have a rule that says you have to put salt on your food before you eat, 
as in terms of the Crow Prince, you can't have a moment where your character doesn't put salt on their food because then the you know and then they don't become hallucinated because that doesn't follow the rules. If there's salt on the food, then they won't be hallucinated. If there's no salt on the food and they eat it, it have they have to become hallucinated in some sort of way. If they don't put salt on the food and they eat it and they don't become hallucinated, what happened to your rules? And there are examples in which some rules are not followed with on, along in the story, and I can do a video of that where I show examples of where rules aren't followed in novels or in stories, um, and I can definitely do a video on that. If you want that, please leave a comment down below. I can do a video on that. Um, but it's definitely very important to keep the rules and keep them followed within a story or a world building um, type world um, because if you don't then the reader feels taken out of the story and sometimes most people won't notice when rules aren't followed but if you're doing a good job of building this world and kind of creating this world for these readers to enjoy and kind of be a part of they're gonna notice if you don't follow the rules and it's also more important to have these rules and to follow them because it makes the story more believable it makes the readers feel like they're right then and there and if they ever were to step into this world they know the rules of this world and they know what's going to happen if they don't follow those rules so usually when you have rules you also have consequences that goes along with those rules that if it's not followed it's obvious that those rules aren't followed um and also has consequences you know in terms of if they aren't followed so it's very important to make sure that you know your rules and you know when you're using them and to follow them while you're using them while writing and it's not a very important thing if you don't have a world or you have like a grand world building, you don't have to create a whole different world from scratch. You don't have to go through Harry Potter. You know, you don't have to create a whole new Hogwarts or, you know, even a whole new court um, from a court of thorns and roses or even have a new world of what it means to follow rules in the Fey world like in the Crow Prince. Um, you can have your own world and your own rules. You can even write in the real world. But especially if you're writing from fantasy, unless you're taking from scratch from another um, novel that you've read or another um, story or myth or legend that you've heard of and you're using that through your fantasy, it technically is good enough. It's better to have your rules established and kind of shown throughout while you're writing, but you don't always have to have this big established world. It could be part fantasy by having the human world and having those moments of magic and fae or um, werewolves and vampires or witches. You know, it, you can have whatever kind of world you want. Just make sure that if you have rules or if you know that there are rules that go along with this world, to establish them early on and to follow them throughout the novel or novels, depending on what you're doing, um, to make sure that, you know, no reader or writer is confused while they're going along through this world. Don't confuse yourself either. Definitely write down your rules if you know there's a rule, and you can always look back to them if you, you know, going through, you know, your reading. If you have them on a plain document or if you have them written on a notebook somewhere, it's kind of easier to go back and be like, hey, I made this rule, I should make sure I follow it. Um, and this is usually goes along with the editing process, but definitely while writing your world, have free range, have fun with it, do what you want to do with it. It's your world, it's your story. Um, do what you will with it. Just remember that if you sit, establish a rule or if you have an event that kind of pertains to needing a rule, that you remember to write that rule in later or to keep using that rule so that it becomes obvious to the reader as they're reading that this is an important part of the world and what it means to kind of be in this world and follow these different rules. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. That is all that I can say about world building for now. I will have a second video that will pertain to character descriptions, what it means to have characters in this world that you built, and kind of building along. So it'll be building blocks videos that kind of build upon and kind of make up what it means to world build, have characters, character descriptions, and what it means to be in a world that you just created. So that is all for today's video. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like videos, like this and any of the ones that I post on my channel, please press that subscribe button, click on the, no the bell icon to get notified whenever I post videos on my channel. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!